sorry. I probably would have said this earlier, but I think I just forgot. So everybody's trying to talk about community now as though there is one. There's not. I feel like it's only be okay. So here's the issue. We're hearing all this shit about the black community now because of the Jack and Jill people. Now, I, I want to address this because I thoroughly unpacked it, but like the Jack and Jillers are a problem. Jack and Jillers, the black academics, these are synonymous terms. It's terms for middle class black people who the, the talented 10th, okay, they've been using this propaganda to say like, we are better than other black people. We are more deserving than other black people because we know how to read. That's basically what it is. And that's fucked up when you really think about it. Like, does a poor child deserve to, like, not live because they can't read? Does an immigrant deserve to not live because they can't read and they're poor? Like, be serious. That's fucked up. That's that's actually ethically wrong, right? But the Jack... I, I, okay, so I saw Corday. He made a whole song that was kind of about this. I could like unpack the song and maybe I will do that, but I just, I'm not interested in Corday as an artist, but it does seem like he's a good person. Um, and it does seem like the message and the idea, it's giving me like Tupac type of vibes and those type of artists, I actually do support like Vince Staples. Um, so maybe Corday, maybe I am now becoming a Corday fan. Okay, so like what Corday is trying to describe is his own situation of growing up in public housing. He makes some really good points. He's like, I grew up with a journal, you know, and I, I didn't have television or electricity. So he's describing this state of growing up in poverty. It was really difficult. Oh, it was so hard, the poverty, right? And um, yes, growing up in poverty is extremely difficult. This is why I continue to talk, and this this is the main reason that I chose to go to public school and I've tried to like be visible about it and talk about the experience because everyone else that I know just did not have a good educational experience. Like there just are so many black children, especially like black, black boys have it the worst, but even black girls all over the world who do not know how to read because they can't read, they don't understand history, the past, or the present. And so they just keep doing shit that is like, they're making life mistakes and they're dying. They're dying, right? And so it's, it's kind of a big deal. It's a fucking big deal. It's actually like really important. Like if you care about community at all, if you care about the human race really, and you see yourself as a human, this is a really big issue because if you have not noticed, the reason that we actually have to have conversations right now about nationalism, about religion, about race, about language, are because people are choosing to live in certain places because they're unable to live in other places. Like, let me describe this further. So the reinforcement learning conference that happened, um, I think it was like last year, it actually couldn't happen in Ethiopia because Ethiopia is so intolerant of gay people and they're gay, researchers who wanted to go and present and they knew that their lives were in danger and that's true <laughs> so that means that literally a research conference that could push forward like humanity and robots can't happen in certain places the middle east like i don't even the world cup and all that's happening there like the, qatar has a lot of fucking issues and if you're sitting here being serious that you don't care about the issues like people losing their lives and there being slavery in qatar you are going down in history as a part of the fucking problem that's why nobody gives a shit about the middle east <laughs> like, it's like, they literally do all type of crazy shit and they're like it's okay no these are like human rights problems that's why we have to have spaces like the un and why we have to have majors like fucking women's studies ethical studies political like we have to have these like these um conversations about social issues because of the fucking intolerance <laughs> it's not just like like literally if you're not paying attention to what's happening in places like egypt women are being murdered for saying the same shit that i'm saying here like literally today um one of the soccer players on the morocco team he's being sentenced to death why because he went to an activist uh, rally and they they now have decided they're going to kill him so tomorrow i think he's going to die like y'all were just watching him at the world cup and now he's dead <laughs> like 
That's the world that we live in, in 2022. That's crazy. If you don't understand like what slavery is or how bad slavery was, um, and you don't care about what's happening in Qatar, like you, I'm, I can't describe to you like, um, Sometimes you see another person's oppression and then you don't care, right? And then you just think like, oh, too fucking bad. It's not happening to me. And then all of a sudden the war comes to your door. I feel like that's a thing that Africans understand that other people just don't. Like you actually cannot be indecent to other people because it will put your life in danger. <laughs> like your actual life and the life of your real family. Go talk to a the climate migrants like nobody people y'all climate migrants are so fucking real like there are half the planet is not going to be livable in like what five years did y'all not see Afghanistan underwater that's like four feet of water you can't live in that you you can't drive a Bugatti through four feet of water <laughs> unfortunately when the Mexican cartel comes to your house and kills your family you can't be a youtuber anymore you see how that works like you can't there has to be ethics like if you don't have a code of conduct and laws that's why in this particular case um tory lanes has to be held accountable reparations for slavery has to be talked about otherwise there's no, like if this did not happen I can't describe to you civil wars illumined, like not in a joking way, the same way that the the capital was 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 rioted. I don't think y'all understand how like careless Gen Z and the rest are when they realize that all the things they want are not coming and the sort of like revolution that you guys are gonna get with that because like they, the amount of intersectional and racialized socialization that some people are going to have to go through is just phenomenal. This is why I feel like the immigrants have to ha take a real like close look at American history and counterculture because being on TikTok, being politically correct will not save you from murder. I'm so sorry if you didn't know that. Like that's kind of, <laughs> you see how the bitches on the train still get shot. <laughs> Jack and Jill will not save you from a bullet. A college degree might not save you from poverty. Like things are a little bit more complex than some of y'all are willing to realize and like i've said a million times your parents resources and money are not your own your parents story is not your story what you can do is look at the options that you have right now and try to be the most ethical that you can be try if you make a mistake apologize like be Kanye like be out here like explaining shit to the rest of us so that we're like oh this is why he feels this way this is why he did that Kanye is very smart he's humanizing himself in the same way that I've humanized myself to learn and lesson feel explore the feelings real sometimes you'll be sad Maybe we should talk about the, that artist who just committed suicide. It is another example of a black male who feels hopeless. If the black male community would like to live on, maybe the black male community should talk about suicide. Or maybe not. I know. I don't know. Difficult. It's pretty like, it's difficult, right? Like what? Like what? How? What's <laughs> you? I don't know. Like I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Difficult conversations are difficult for a real reason. And if you stay, trust me, I too know about the soft, cushy life where you have literally no bad feelings or bad inputs and you don't give a shit about others. I completely understand that life because if you haven't noticed, that is literally my life. I talk shit about anyone, everyone. <laughs> I got better at not saying into people's faces, right? Because I saw how distressed they were when they understood my honest feelings about them. But 
It doesn't mean that my feelings changed. My feelings didn't change. My experience didn't change. Sometimes you have to be able to say, suck it. Also, I think, okay, what's a good way to explain this? You're fine. <laughs> um.